A FOX 2 EXCLUSIVE. TONIGHT, THE U.S. AIR FORCE BAND AND ST. LOUIS CHILDREN'S CHOIR RETELL THE STORY OF THE CANDY BOMBER, AN AIR FORCE PILOT WHO DROPPED CANDY FOR CHILDREN FROM HIS CARGO PLANE DURING THE BERLIN AIRLIFT, airlift IN 1948. BUT THIS TIME WITH AN AIRDROP OF THEIR OWN. FOX 2 STEPHANIE ROTHMAN JOINS US FROM THE UNIVERSITY OF MISSOURI, ST. LOUIS CAMPUS WITH A VERY SWEET STORY. At the end of the performance, a special treat was given out to people. The candy bomber was known for these parachutes with candy dropped for everyone here in the auditorium. A special pride for everyone internationally and here at home. Music to everyone's ears. He wiggled his wings and a lot of children exploded. A holiday story with music fills the air. It's one of nine performances by the United States Air Force Band of Mid America. This year, marking their 75th anniversary. So, this year we're actually uh, highlighting the Berlin Airlift, which happened all the way back in 1948, and also Colonel Gail Halverson, who was called the Candy Bomber. He's turning 101 this year, and he did a lot of things to bring Germany and the United States together after the Second World War. The celebrated Air Force pilot was stationed nearby at Scott Air Force Base when serving overseas. The Candy Bomber performance tells the story of Gal Halverson, an Air Force pilot who helped children in war-torn Germany after World War II by airdropping candy. It became so popular that eventually U.S. candy manufacturers dropped candy from U.S. cargo planes. Having America and Great Britain take care of these children in a very special way so that they would actually have a Christmas at a time of great deprivation is a wonderful story that resonates with children who've been through a hard two years now. Back in 2015, Halverson dropped candy again for kids in Salt Lake City. Looking back on the candy drops, Halverson knows the treats held more weight than just chocolate. Suddenly on the other side of the bar bar, right next to me, there were 30 kids. The kids you see American uniform the chasing, shaking out for chocolate. Kids, 9 to 15, been under Hitler. They knew what was freedom was what they wanted. Bombs away, the band and choir recreating this historic and sweet event with tiny parachutes of candy of their own. It's really nice to see what can happen when one person does one kind act and how that can sort of take off and become, you know, something that really changes the world for the better. A holiday story baked with love. Their performance, Christmas from Heaven, the Candy Bomber story, will be playing again at the Two Hill Performing Arts Center on Friday night. Reporting in St. Louis, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.